Hi there, it's Rose. Welcome to the School of Mathematics Nigeria. If you are new here, it's good to have you here. But the whole is the Sun Ninjas, welcome back. All right, so today we'll be treating number bases. But before then, I want you to picture this, right? Picture number bases as the place where numbers live. So we have different numbers living in different houses, right? But each house has its own rule and way of speaking, right? So we would say that just as we have languages, different languages, different words and how people communicate, numbers speak in basis. The basis is the language in which these numbers communicate. Okay, so now let's begin. We have several number bases. When we say number bases, we mean numbers in which they are base right there's a subscript there's something written under it for example you have eight and then you have three so you have eight to base three it's always written at the bottom of the number right so we're beginning with base 10. base 10 is the most common type of base we use it every day but we do not know it because we don't write the base. In most cases, you don't have to write base 10. You don't have to write 7 base 10 because 7 is already a number in base 10. Does that make sense? That's why we say we use it every day. And what's this number called? It's called the decimal number. Yeah, I know you've heard about it. You call it the decimal number or the denary number. And why is this number called a base 10 number? Because it's in 10 digits. What do we mean? So when we say number in base 10, this is exactly what we mean. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Number in base 10 has 10 digits. Why would they say this is the number we use all the time? But let me show you how we got it. So remember for number in base 10, we always stop at digits. We always stop at 9, right? So for you to say you want to continue from here, you just add one in front of them. Gives you the next one, right? You already guessed, right? If we have it again, add two, and then you continue like that forever, okay? So now you know why we say number in base 10 is the number we use every day which is your decimal number. Now let's move to the next one. The next base we'll be talking about is the number in base 2. Now, we already know about this. We just might be confused. But number in base 2 is also known as the binary numbers. When you hear by in mathematics, it means 2. What we're trying to say is these binary numbers have only two digits, which is what? 0 and 1. So anywhere you see zero and one, you just know you're talking about binary numbers. That's why in most cases, in most cases, when you're solving binary numbers, it's always 101 to base 2, 111 to base 2, 100 to base 2. It's always 1 or 0. Never find anything higher than 0 and 1. And remember that binary numbers are mostly used in computer science right we've always heard about beats and all of that yes that's where this came from now moving to the next one we have the number in base three which is the ternary number ternary number so you would always have just three digits so you have zero one two right for base four continuously you know for base four you have four digits right for base five you have five digits for base 6, you have 6 digits. Base 7, you have 7 digits. And continuously, until you get to base 10, which we've already done. Now, we also have base 11, base 12, base 13, base 14, base 15. But I want us to talk about something which is base 16. So, thus far, we know about base 2, base 3, base 4, up until base 10. But I want us to talk about something very important which is base 11 you might be wondering so how do we get base 11 if for base 10 we always stop at 9 and it gets the next numbers and next numbers how do we do base 11 let's see so for base 11 we said it has 11 digits and it can be called it on decimal right on decimal so remember for decimal numbers which is your number in base 10 
we said this is how we count it zero one two three four five six seven eight nine then for you to get the next ones you do this right now for on decimal which is the number in base 11 you have zero one two three four five six seven eight nine but for you to get 10 you would not get 10 you would have to put a letter before you continue counting that is just the rule that is what it says you can read more about it to know why but for now this is what it's about so if we are dealing with number base 12 we're going to have b and of course we'll continue counting if you have base 13 you're going to have c and then you continue counting that's just what the rule says right, so in summary or in conclusion we said that numbers use bases to communicate right and then we listed out the different kinds of bases that we have so i'm going to run that through we're going to run that through together for the last time so base two are also called binary numbers these are numbers with just two digits <laughs> these are numbers with just two digits then you have base three which is your ternary number numbers with three digits base four quaternary number numbers with four digits base five quinary numbers numbers with five digits base six scenary numbers numbers with six digits base seven septenary numbers numbers with seven digits base eight they are octal numbers these are numbers with eight digits base nine nonary numbers these are numbers with nine digits and of course base 10 our favorite the most common the one we use every day 205 506 800 these are numbers in base 10 we just do not write the base under it because it's the number we use and it's also called the decimal number it has 10 digits base 11 on decimal numbers these are numbers with 11 digits base 12 do decimal numbers these are numbers with 12 digits base 16 of course it keeps you it keeps going like that but these are like popular bases which you would always say in some cases probably in computer science engineering whatever the case may be so we just keep to the really important numbers right so base 16 is the hexadecimal number these are numbers with 16 base 20 the vigesimal i hope i pronounced that correctly and base 60 the sexagesimal number so these are the number bases that we have in mathematics of course it it, it gets up to probably numbers in base 100 or whatever the case may be but yeah, I hope that you've been able to learn a thing or two. Of course, in the next class, we'll be treating how to convert one base to another base. So stay tuned. Do not forget, subscribe, like this video, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. So they're missing something here. Yeah. Bye-bye.